This isn't going to. Otherwise, I'd have went back on up there. When is the league again? Next it's week. Question of course, and I bought it. Monday, Thursday, Friday. Bought the nice one. No luck. I'm out of question of the day is, days of the week. Did we get like, the whole week? week. Yeah. 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 His name or did this fall on the way off the home? You could take her up. Had the ice fly Friday, you know, vacation to get that girl to serve one of the We'd be back. I thought you just brought yours from one for me to get away this time of year. Your name plaque for this. I get that when I leave? Gosh, I might have to accelerate that plan. Well, when Derek was still turning, I used to go to the legal process with him. Good. Four five. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. Sound to mean you ready, Chief? Steve? All right. We'll call me in order with roll call. Hyde. Here. Moon. Here. Schulte. Here. Gargano. Here. Caney. Here. Bruns here. Peterson here. Knutson here. Stevenson here. Mayor, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The council will receive information on non-agenda topics probably before the council and members of the public. The council will not discuss these topics and will not take action on any of this meeting. Is there anyone who is on the agenda which should be heard? We will go to consent agenda. One motion approves all consent items. Item one is approve the minutes for the meeting held on September 25th, 2023. Number two, approve the nine financial report for September 2023. Number three, appointment of uh, appoint David Moon to the Common Council as District One Alder to complete a vacant vacated term. Number four, appointment appointment of Dave Moon to ordinance, personnel, and historic preservation. Number five is the proclamation proclaiming October 15th, 2023 is White Cane Safety Day, recognizing the importance of safety for blind and severely visually impaired pedestrians. And number six, receive building permit report for September 2023. Any questions on consent or I'll take a motion. So moved. Motion by Stevenson. Second. Seconded by Schulte. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries officially. Welcome back, Dave Moon. Thank you. General business, we have a few items. <laughs> Item number one is approved and I entering into a contract for emergency medical ambulance service with the town of Delona, town of Excelsior, town of Freedom, town of Ironton, town of Laval, town of Linden, town of Reesburg, town of Seven Mile Creek, town of Washington, town of Westfield, town of Winfield, Village of Laval, Village of Lime Ridge, Village of Loganville, Village of North Freedom, and the Village of Rock Springs. Tim. Thank you. So this is for the ambulance service. Um, I never thought we would be here, but here we are. Um, we have agreement from 100% of the former commission to dissolve. So they have all dissolved their participation in the commission. So now the commission is the city alone. The reason that uh, the Village of Lime Ridge and the Village of Rock Springs are highlighted, um, we do have a contract with the Village of Rock Springs. The Village of Lime Ridge at the time of this writing was not a commission member. They had uh, asked to leave prior to all of this happening, and they have not returned any emails or phone calls regarding their intent to contract with us. But um, I suspect there may be some hope there. I don't know. I haven't really reached out to them other than this. So I just wanted you to approve it in case they came back and asked for a contract with us. The contracts with all of them, with the exception of the Village of Rock Springs, are three years. Village of Rock Springs is a year to year. Again, they were not a commission member. Um, I think you've had a chance to look at the, um, at the agreements. Uh, we officially take over January 1 of 2024. And that's the reason why the budget's pushed back a little bit later. We're still trying to get that all figured into our uh, our 2024 budget. So I guess I can take any questions if there are any. Any questions for Tim? Will the village of Rock Springs want to stay in the year to year then? I suspect so. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions or comments? I'm in the audience. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My name is Michael Schmidt. I was a Rock Springs firefighter and first responder, and I'm proud of that. Thank you. Yes, sir. Any other questions, comments? 
Take a motion if one's in order. Move to approve. Motion by Gargano. Second. Seconded by Knudsen. Anything further? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Tim, thank you for all your work on this. And Adam, um, with the Ambulance Commission, <laughs> we've had some meetings about this. I think you more than I have since I got back on, but um, definitely the, the best thing for the safety guard for the city as well as all the other municipalities as well to make sure that we have a paramedic ambulance service to moving forward. I do feel bad that you guys don't have a meeting to go to anymore. Really. <laughs> no, one more. Yeah. One more. <laughs> All right, number two is approved and I resolution 4528-23, creating a special revenue fund, ambulance fund, fund 28. Tim. Okay, and so this is part of that uh, previous agreement. Uh, so all things ambulance will be created under fund 28, and that'll be a revolving fund that um, allows us to take any, um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, surplus funds, keep that within that same fund and roll that over into capital to allow for the purchase of uh, different pieces of equipment, specifically ambulances and things like that. Questions for Tim? Take a motion once in order. Move to approve resolution 4528-23. Motion by Peterson. Second. Seconded by Katie. Anything further? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Number three is approved and I second reading in public hearing for ordinance 1963-23, amending chapter 104-5, residency as it relates to appointments to committee, commissions, and boards. Tim. Thank you, Mayor. This is again the uh, the ordinance that uh, we wrote in an attempt to deal with, I guess, um, a considerable lack of participation in our committees and our commissions. What it would do is um, allow us to go into the school district and not limit our participation to just people who lived in the city, allow us to kind of reach outside the city a little bit. We did add a line in there, um, at no time shall the board commission and our committee have a majority of non-resident members. I know that was a concern for some of the uh, some of the elders that are here. And that's, that's good language to have in there. So I guess I'll take any questions from there. Any questions for Tim before we take public hearing? All right, I'll take public hearing. Is there anyone wishing to speak for or against the adoption of ordinance 1963-23? Anyone wishing to speak for or against the adoption of ordinance 1963-23? Final call. Anyone wishing to speak for or against the adoption of ordinance 1963-23? Hearing no, I'll take it back to council. Discussion, or I'll take a motion of one's in order. I just want to say, um, out of all the issues that we've had since I've been on, this is the one that people have approached me the most about, and I think everybody understands, that I've talked to understands the reasoning for it. Um, everybody's nervous about having somebody from outside of the city uh, spending our money, but I think with the uh, no majority being from outside the city, that seems to appease a lot of the people that I've talked to. So, yep. I totally agree. I've had definitely some calls about this. So. The overwhelming majority to our advisory boards. Yep. So you guys still have retained the final no authority whether or not to spend money, but I understand that. And I think once once you, people are made aware of that, they seem to be the yep. final tips. So. Anything else? We'll take a motion. Dave. Um, I would second what you just said, Adam. Um, I'm. It's necessity that's mandating that we do this in reality. and. The necessity of, of filling the boards and commissions and I, I want to thank Tim for adding that last sentence because I was one of those that was very concerned with that and um, I agree that the couple of people that I've spoken with there is concern of by some of the city members that were opening it up or citizens that were opening it up um, did they offer volunteer no, <laughs> and that's a very good point, Jim. Is it? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That's, that's the question I had. Are the people who are expressing concern, are they volunteering? Are they already on board? So, no. Well. And nor do they want, are they willing to step? Yeah. Well, that, that <laughs> would end my conversation with anybody. <laughs> 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 so. one, one of the comments I heard from the summit was, they were pointing, I mean, we put it in the paper, it's on the website, that these are available, but I don't know if there's any other way that we could be more proactive saying that we 
need people to volunteer and we need just to get the word out there. Yeah, it almost seems like we're always, it feels like I'm always saying, I think this is probably the topic that I talk about most often when I'm even at meetings like we were at today, you know, things that we go to different uh, social clubs and things like that. Uh, yeah, we talk about it all the time. It just, sometimes we'll get it, sometimes we won't. I did something with um, Saw County Leadership. I got one person out of that. Um, I speak at a number of different events. We just don't seem to drill with thing. And people are busy. I get that. But we can't, as staff, we have trouble getting our stuff done if we don't have quorums to get decisions to get it to this point. So it's just the way the company works. You know, I think, Adam, if, if someone was, was truly interested, I mean, if, if I'm truly interested in finding a plumber, I will figure out how to find a plumber. If I'm truly interested in serving the, the city, I will find out what it takes, when there's postings, where they're listed. If you're truly interested, you know, I, I think that, you know, we do things in a way that is obviously very transparent. And <clears throat> there's places that people could look if they were interested. I think it's easy to say, well, I didn't hear about it. Well, you weren't looking very hard either. I just want to add, it's definitely not just a city committee board commission issue. It's volunteers for everything. Um, yeah. Right now, the youth football concessions are running the scoreboard. I mean, yeah. that's why I'm not going to be able to be at the plank of a machine. Right? <laughs> I have to run the scoreboard. Nobody else is going to do it. Yeah. But um, so it's definitely not just isolated to here. It's because, as Tim said, people are busy. I think they're making themselves busier than what they actually need to be, and they're not they're not able to help us out. So, so. So just as like a recap of this, I mean, we've had a couple of examples of people who have been longstanding committee members, one in public works with us, yeah. who just moved just outside the city. Mm -hmm. He works in town, his wife works in town. We're not going to be cherry picking random people who have no connection to the city. Um, we've lost some, the yeah, we've saw some, we've lost some really good committee members that still have a really direct connection to Reedsburg. So I guess with that, I'd make a motion to approve. We have a motion by Peterson. I'll second that. Seconded by Caney. Anything further before we have roll call? Roll call, everybody, Julie. Caney. Aye. Friends. Aye. Peterson. Aye. Siemenson. Aye. Knudsen. Aye. Moon. Aye. Hyde. Aye. Schulte. Aye. Gargano. Aye. 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 Thank you, Julie. Uh, number four, approved and I, resolution 4529-23. Establishing parameters for the sale of not to exceed four million six hundred fifty thousand dollar general obligation corporate purpose bonds. Yeah. I'm prepared to do the entire presentation. <laughs> Carol did it. <laughs> We're good. Okay. I call step, your step up to the podium. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so this is the uh, this is the parameter resolution that she spoke of. These are not to exceed numbers, the four point six, and then uh, for the notes that's coming up next, the two point three. These are for the projects that we have already agreed to, to do, um, either infrastructure projects, land purchases, um, developer incentives through TIDs 8, 9, and 11. So I guess I, I'll take any questions if you may have them. Cool. So these reflect the, new, the numbers that Carol alluded to? Um, well, these are still the not to exceed numbers. Yes. So, so what will happen is that once we get our final numbers, that's what we'll go to the bond market with. Yeah. And we have a little bit of uh, cushion built in here, depending on what the actual um, rates might be, because we may have different closing costs based on those rates. Weren't the resolutions from the last meeting a little bit higher? They were. Yeah. Yep. So these are yep. good. These are closer, yep. but still not. Yeah, they're tightening up more. Yep. Any other questions? We'll take the motion of ones in order. I'll move to approve resolution forty-five twenty-nine dash twenty-three. Motion by Schulte. Second. Seconded by Hyde. Anything further? <coughs> All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Number five is approved and aye resolution 4530-23, authorizing the issuance and establishing parameters for the sale of not to exceed $2,350,000 taxable general obligation promissory notes. Tim just alluded to what we're talking about. Yeah, so I can go into more detail if you'd like me to. Any more questions? We keep Carol on the phone. <laughs> well, I'll take a motion of one's in order. Move to approve resolution 4530-23. Motion by Gargano. Second. Seconded by Siemenson. Anything further? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 
All right, Commission, Committee, Board, and Staff reports. Historic preservation. Nothing? Five. Yeah. 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 They'll be on it right now. Yeah. Okay, they met, but they were in there. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> okay, so we will have a report next month when Mr. Moon is. Yeah, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the, the sense of. I've heard some real interesting tales. So. <laughs> Glenn's a heck of a guy. Yeah. Uh, any other committee, commission, or staff member, anything they want to report? Let's go around the horseshoe. Tom Stevenson. Welcome back, Mr. Bowen. It's all because of you, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Goodson. I would like to say the same. Welcome back, Dave. It's, it's wonderful to have a man of integrity step forward in a time of need, and you've done it again. Thank you. On behalf of this council and the entire city. Phil Peterson. Tom and Dave said it very well. Welcome back, Dave. Thanks. Good see friends. Welcome back. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> Adam Keeney. Nothing tonight. Max was on your mind. Nothing for me. Nothing. Jules? Nothing for me tonight. Tim? Nothing, sir. Mike Gargano? Uh, this Sunday, the library is going to be having an open house at their new building. Uh, it's only 25 years old, having a little birthday party. On Sunday, October 15th, from noon till 3, there's going to be cake there. Cake, hey, yeah, cake. cake. We're going to have cake. We're going to have a couple of musicians there. It's just going to be kind of an open house kind of reception celebrating 25 years in that building. So, you know, come one, come all. Very good. Jason Schulte. Welcome back, Dave. Say hi. Another tonight. Thanks. Dave Moon. Thanks for all the kind words. I wasn't expecting and I'm truly touched. Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, I really have nothing to add for the evening other than uh, last week, Thursday, we did have the uh, Chamber of Commerce annual dinner, and that was a very well attended. I think 240 some people were there, and a lot of great conversations had with their business leaders and um, updates from a lot of different avenues. So, uh, good time. I will take a motion to adjourn. Two moved. Motion by Gargano. I'll second. Seconded by friends. Also, we're saying by saying I. Aye. 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 Opposed? I think so. Motion carries. Thanks, everybody. Can you press that mute button?